Hello Gearspace, I'm Dirk Born from Tascam and today I want to show you here at the IBC in Amsterdam a little yeah, product which is not officially released up to now but we can show the first details of what will come in the short future of the yeah, overall situation of component delivery and all that stuff we are currently struggling with like all companies uh, is gone. So we will have a nice new mixing console. It will be available as 24 and 16. I didn't say channels up to now because it's not really the kind of channels, it's the kind of faders and analog inputs. So one unit will have 24 analog inputs and 24 faders. The other one 16 analog inputs and 16 faders and additional data as standard inputs. So you can uh, use it uh, with 64 channels of data. The mixing engine internally has 44 channels, so 40 mono channels, two stereo channels, plus eight effect returns. So we got two, four built-in effect uh, units. The nice thing on that unit is uh, we build it up with three screens or two screens on the smaller console, which can either give you an overview of, one, of all the channels, or if I tap on here and select full screen, I get a full overview of what's up in one channel. The unit works internally with a 54-bit FPGA and has a latency of 0.51 milliseconds, which is rather fast for an actual digital mixing console. And it can be remote controlled from Windows, Mac OS, iOS, or Android pads. So if you're walking around in this uh, stage or uh, if you want to do some stage monitoring and mixing you can do it directly from your iPad or from your Android tablet. We have 24 output buses, two are the master left right and the other 22 are freely configurable between auxiliaries or stereo buses. And finally one big interesting part is we have all those user keys that means we do not force you into a fixed environment. You can define all keys as you want to have it. So you can put either here a tap on the, uh, if you want to have a tap delay, you can put the tap button here, or you can recall like we did it here, the player recorder stuff, or you can select the next or pre previous snapshot, or you can put fader layers or sends on layers on one of these buttons. And even the layers, the seven layers, can be freely configured so you can have yeah, your DCA group on fader one, the vocals on fader two and all the other stuff. So it's completely up to you how to set up, how you need your setup, how you want to have your faders and all your user configuration on the console. I hope that was a nice short overview and more details surely next year about that console. So you're welcome to join and follow us for that and follow Gears, uh, uh, Gearspace for other free, new interesting information here at the IBC. I'm sure they will find some.